still, by the time you're in fifth grade, you take a test, and if you don't well, don't do well, you're done with school, what? and you work in the factories the rest of your life. What? what? Some countries, if you do not do well because of attitude or discipline, oh you're moved God. out, and you work on the farms, you work out in the orchards, and that's your life. We're one of the few places in what is it called public education. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, your families can send you to a religious school. They can send you to a charter school or an academy. That's their choice. But when you come to one of our schools here, everyone from different parts of town all come together do one thing. That's learn, right? Yes. Now, every year when I do reading, I try to find some pictures that provoke, provoke a conversation because uh, what's unusual about this picture? Who sees something different about this picture? Hmm. Young man in the back, what's going on in this picture that's different? It's no color. Okay, I'll accept the fact there's no color. What is different about one of the individuals? Um, young, young man, yes. It's in black and white. Black and white. But what is one of the, see, you guys are so, you guys are so cool you don't even realize that. Ten years ago, everybody would have said, oh, that child's got a wheelchair. Why aren't they in special ed in another building? <gasps> Mr. Weedbush walks with Storm for one reason. Let's see, 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, seven years ago. See that smashed up car? That's where my head went through the windshield that broke 17 bones and severed my spinal cord. Hey. I got smashed up. A lot of your parents know that. A lot of you have heard those stories before, and some of you may remember when you were a parent, I used to still have my leg braces on. That was about two years ago, Mr. Duncan? Yeah. Still have my leg braces on. But, back to this picture here. Do you think, because a person is confined to a wheelchair, they should be able to talk how to read? No, no, they're, they're handicapped. They're only going to be in a wheelchair. They can't dunk a basketball. They can't run around the track. They, they, they just should be taught to read. They should just be put in a corner and taught how to basket weed, right? Uh -uh. No. So do you think reading should be for everyone? Yes. Some countries don't believe that. But and that's why our country is overfighting in some area because they want people to have the same rights that we have. Do you realize in some countries, if you have a book and you have it at home, you can go to jail for having a book? Oh, God, this one wants to... Yes, because that book may say something about the government that they don't want you to hear. The book may tell history a different way. When I grew up, people said Pluto was a planet. Pluto. Pluto. Last planet in our solar system, right, Mrs. Duncan? Yes, indeed. Now Pluto is considered an asteroid. It's no longer even considered a planet. Why not? Too small, has an elliptical field versus a circular field. Oh, elliptical okay. means it goes oblong versus circular. So it is more of an asteroid. Here's another thing. When I grew up, everybody said Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Columbus didn't discover the New World. When he landed on the shoreline, were there already people living there? Yes, there were. The people were here a long time ago who were the Aztec and the Incas, and they had great civilizations. Back to this picture. Sandra's the girl in the wheelchair. Jane is reading to her. <coughs> Have you taken time in the last couple weeks to read to a little brother or sister? Um, yeah. yeah. I appreciate if you do. I don't care if it's a cereal box. Do you guys read the cereal boxes sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever read the comics or the funnies in the paper? Yeah. But look at the picture again. Do you think because you're a girl you should be told you don't get to read? No. Because you're a girl you don't get to go to college? No. Do you think because... Now, I have a heritage. My great-grandparents got kicked out of Germany. When Adolf Hitler was the bad guy during World War II, my family was Catholic Germans, not Protestant Germans. They didn't like us. They showed us the border 
and we left. <laughs> My family's been kicked out of some of the best countries in the world. Do you think we celebrate Black History Month for a reason? Yeah. Do you think we celebrate Hispanic heritage? During the holiday season, do we just celebrate Christmas or do we talk about what? Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, what else do we talk about? There's one more. New Year's. New Year's, there's one more. Yes. Christmas. Christmas. We talk about all of them now, right? Yes. But well, look at that picture. When I pulled up to the front to park the van, the curb was cut down. Why is that curb cut down? So Mr. Weedbush can ride all over the sidewalks? Or is it curved down because handicap accessibility with a wheelchair so someone can come to school to learn makes sense? When Mrs. Weedbush crosses you across the street, is there a curb you drop down five inches, or is it cut down for a smoother crossing? Smoother helps with rollerblading, helps with walking, helps with bicycle, helps with those who have wheelchairs or ramps. When you go to the restroom, is there usually one larger stall? 